Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a nice medium strength Wednesday puzzle. But first, let's have a sip of coffee. Mmm, good. So yesterday I had a few things off which were kind of embarrassing, um, but that's the way it goes. But let's take a look at some other things in yesterday's puzzle that I wasn't aware of. Um, five down was, the answer was cow. The clue was actor comedian Penn. Um, he was the guy from Harold and Kumar. I know I recognize him from that movie, but I didn't. I would, wouldn't have known he was a White House staffer, and I didn't know his name. The answer was Cal, and um, now I know that Cal Penn was that guy. And fifteen across was some male deer was the clue. A male red deer is called a stag or hart, and the hart is what they wanted. I think it was hearts maybe I think it was plural uh, and the female of that is called hind so those are good those are those two heart and hind are good that's good crossword knowledge uh, let's go down here to 60 across we had the jungle book bear which I didn't know was Baloo uh, that's the the main character from the jungle book Rudyard, Clip, Rudyard, Rudyard Kipling's jungle book and that's from uh, a while ago what is it 1894. I didn't know that that was that old of a story, but I guess it is. And then, of course, we had 31 across Greek P, which was Rho, a R H O. I really have to commit this to memory. Um, I'm still working on it, but it's a work in progress. Okay, let's carry on and do the Wednesday. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have Wednesday, March 8th, and we have a note here which says, the circled letters reading clockwise starting in box number four reveal what the answer to the nine italicized clues have in common. Okay, good to know. Noted. Let's carry on. Let me move this up a little bit, and that should be good. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. <clears throat> here and put this here. Okay, prefix for the green-minded. This is always eco. This this comes up almost every other puzzle they want this. I mean, I guess ECO is such a common three-letter combination that they're, they're kind of stuck with it. Their blood is toxic to humans. Hmm. Their blood is toxic to... Wow. There's a creature that's... Their blood is toxic to humans. I wonder what that is. Sporty model, probably a coupe or coupe. One small red minced for crunch and tang. Okay, so this looks like ingredients. And I guess what they want here is onion, a small red onion. Um, and that is an italicized clue. So that means that the note will, the circled letters, okay, so we've got to keep an eye on the circled letters. The circled letters will tell us what the, the was it nine? Nine italicized clues have in common. All right, there. Let's do these acrosses. Forever and a day, maybe an eon. Eon. Uh-oh, is this two E's? Eels. Oh, it's eels. That's what it is. And what's this? Him in French. Okay, Lou, I didn't know that. 20 is wind or wind. Hmm. <laughs> Wind or wind? Um, wind or wind? Sp hmm. Why am I not seeing that? Ish. This could be or so. Wind or wind? A spool? Maybe you spool it up by winding it. Let me. Let's do four down. Three cloves minced for depth and aroma. It's probably garlic. Let's see if that fits. Whoops. What happened? What just happened? Garlic. And it looks like spool is the answer for 12, for 20 across. Cool. All right. Uh, can't help but do this one here. Add value to is going to be enrich. Okay. Um, great cleverness. Probably genius, right? Genius. Whoops. Genius. 
Is that how you spell it? Or is that genus? Genus. Genius. Uh, Eli Whitney is the inventor of the cotton gin. Gist. Gist. Um, gist. Gist is the, the sort of like the heart of something. Uh, reveal revelers at reunions. Uh, those would be alums, alum alumni, alumni. Oh, the nut. Yeah, the gist is the nut of the of the issue or whatever it is. Um, body is probably ritzy, but I'm not. Let's let's leave it blank for a second. Apple for a teacher, maybe. Hmm. Apple for a teacher, maybe. Mm, what's that going to be? Slink. Reverse a thumbs up for on Facebook. Oh, did I spell genius? Did I, did I just embarrass myself again? There we go. Ah, okay. So this is probably iMac. Okay. And this is going to be unlike. Okay, there we go. Yes, I knew genius didn't look right. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> Body, um, wait a second. Body, maybe I don't know what body means. Slink. What does body mean? Rit I thought it would be ritzy. Is this not iMac? Let's try 22 across. Oh, here we go, more, more ingredients here. So we have an onion, we have garlic, uh, half a cup of coarsely coarsely chopped for bright or soapy flavor. Ah, some people say that cilantro tastes like soap. Half the population thinks cilantro is like totally poisonous. Cilantro. Uh, Smallville, Smallville surname. I think that would be Kent for Clark Kent, Superman's alias. Slink. Um, Slink. What is it? What am I? What am I missing here? Ri body. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm stuck here. Rit. Rit Potty. What word is this? Slink. Slink. You slither. You're slimy. I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, this could be alums. Maybe it's two S's. No. Revelers at Rio. No. I don't know. Come back to that. I guess. Junior hurdle for short. Probably PSAT. Sixteen across. Pilgrim at Mecca. Um. Not sure. Tito, I believe this is Tito Martinez. Let's put that in. Slightly open is a jar. This is, I feel like this is Haji, H A. One teaspoon, pink or black, for emphasis. Salt. And ghostly apparition would be a phantom. There we go. Haji. I've heard of the Hodge, Haji. Okay, cool. Thus, and so. Uh, 30 across, sidestep. Uh, probably this is Dodge. 31 down, very cool in slang. Uh, that's going to be dope. And chew on could be gnaw on and grand ice cream brand. Um, Edie's, maybe? What's this? Singer Donnie or Marie Osmond. Uh, 42 is pick up the tab, you pay the tab. 46 across, cat calls. Um, Muse? Talkative bird. Talkative bird. No. 38 down. Panjeric poet. Pan. Well, I just learned this word the other day, and it could be an Otist. Let's see if this is an I ending. As I was saying, yeah, this is an Otist. Pan, 
panjeric. I'm going to have to look this word up. Panjeric. Panjeric. I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing an odist is a panjeric poet. Okay, here we go. 40 across. About two, about two cups cubed after peeling and pitting. That looks like avocado. Avocado. Superfood. One of the superfoods from yesterday's, from yesterday's puzzle where I, I kept saying saper food. Oh my god, that was really bad. Uh, Asia Minor. Asia Minor. I guess Asia Minor is like... I'm thinking it's like the smaller Asian countries, like in Southeast Asia. Maybe that's... I'm not sure exactly what, what geographically is defined as Asia Minor, but we'll find out. Talkative bird. Um, a macaw? I believe is the bird macaw. What's this? 28 across. Word with color or rhyme. Color scheme or rhyme scheme, maybe. American Pie Ride. Chevy. And 26 down. Lunch that saves the day. Lunch that saves the day. And it's a pun. Um, lunch. I don't know. This looks like, oh, era, a, no, a noteworthy span is an era. A lunch, a hera lunch, oh, I don't, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Hera, lunch. Oh, hero, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> don't look, everyone, that was so bad. Oh, oh, okay, avocado, okay, avocado. Avocado. Okay, let's move on. Fabulist, fabulist. Um, fabulous, fab, fabulous, fabulous. I don't know what that is. Oh, this is a hero. Oh God, how did I not? See, I get, I get stuck in. I have to always. You have to in, in, in crosswords. You always have to question what you think you what you think was like a slam dunk answer. You always. If you're stuck anywhere around there, you got to question everything. All right, let's go over here. 34 across in blank per parentis. Oh, legal. It's an illegal term. Um, I'm not going to know it. 34 down. Ruth Bader Ginsburg collar fabric. Um, I don't know. Is that a thing? Sound at the doctor's office, maybe ah, and is it a a h or a? It's probably a a h. Uh, let's do this one. Moonstruck star, that would be share. From here to eternity, setting. Um, <clears throat> from here to eternity, setting. Um, this could be an h. It could be ah like that, and then here to eternity would be have an H here. Let's do forty three across. Am I recording? Good. <laughs> that would have sucked. Former Wyoming representative Liz Cheney. Che Cheney. Uh, two H's? I don't think so. This is an A. And this is probably. I don't know. Uh, it looks like lace for this fabric. This fabric is lace. And in, hmm, ah, uh, this is Oahu, maybe. Oa Oahu, yeah. So loco, in loco parentis, maybe that means, uh, meant, uh, what do you call it, uh, you know, mentally unstable, or what's the word? Criminally insane? No, there's like, when you, um, it's not coming to me with, with the, uh, um, criminally, no, Ugh, I don't know. All right, uh, money spent in Munich, uh, euros. Good, 44, written for an instrumentalist. Written for an instrumentalist. Oh, I forgot about the, I forgot about the, 
The circle letter, we have to come back to the circle letters. Uh, 40 down. Fabulous, fabulous. Is this Cheney with an A? No, it's an E. Uh, 50 across. Carry out. Um, I don't know. What's this one? Serpentine. Serpentine. Swishy? Build some muscle. What's this one? Ah, uh, here we go. One vine ripe chopped for texture and color. Vine ripe. Vine ripe. One vine ripe chopped for texture and color. Tomato. Hopefully I spelled that right. Twisty. Serpentine. Twisty. There it is. Twisty. And what was this one? Build some muscle. Um, tone up, maybe? Or... Hmm. Talkative bird... Wait, is this right? Twisty. Didn't we just have talkative bird? What's this one? Macaw? And we had another one. Is Muse right? Let's do this. Stat. Stat means like right now. At once. There we go. At once. Uh, 59 across. Shade a lot like lilac. Well, lilac is a purple shade, right? Half a teaspoon for a little extra flavor. Really try it. Half a teaspoon for a little extra flavor. Um, cumin, maybe? Are we making guacamole? <clears throat> we are making guacamole, or are we? G U A. Uh, wouldn't it, wouldn't there be a C here? Maybe not. Oh, it's, it goes like this: guacamole. Yeah, this will be an M then. Let's 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 see, an M here. Marine fish, that's also the name of a hairstyle. A uh, mullet, maybe? Is it mullet like that or like this? Mullet. Nancy Drew's bow. Uh, is it, is it, I want to say Ken, but that's Barbie. I don't know. What's this? Don't know. Rudely stare at is ogle. Okay, so it looks like mullet is probably right. Oh, wait, is this mullet? Is it a U? Mullet? I'm not sure. Shade a lot like uh, mauve. Mauve. There we go. Mauve. What's this? Roll for Patty Lepon and Madonna. A Vita. Soccer great ham. Mia ham. 68. It's your move. 71. Bill blocking vote. Nay. And this is easy, as this puzzle is pretty easy. Accommodating is easy. Okay. Uh, 50 across. Carry out on it. This looks like it is tone up. And what's this one? 70 across. Brand for a butterfly expert, perhaps. A brand for a butterfly expert. Um, I don't know. Saskatchewan's second largest city after Saskatoon. Let's do 51 down. They can make you sick. Okay, a <clears throat> little bit of a stall here. Oh, one seeded and minced for heat. Uh, jalapeno. Jalapeno, right? Is that how you spell it? Yeah. This would be a J word. Rocks out is jams. And 56 down. Moose, mouse, with his own island in a Newberry Honor book. Okay, oh, looks like we need a lime for our guacamole. One small juice for citrus notes and to preserve color. Yes, lime. Um, somewhat, a bit. 66 across is a phenomenon that may be dank or trending. A meme. And 69 across, Kane's rosebud for one is a sled. And if you haven't seen 
Citizen Kane, I just pretty much spoiled the movie for you. Written for an instrumentalist. Um, <clears throat> notated. Notated, yes. Or is it notated? Notated. Whoops. Notated, like that. What's this? Carry out. Carry out. To go. A to go order is to carry out. Oh, Aesop. Oh. Oh, okay. Fabulous. That's the that's a children's author, isn't it? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that person up. Uh, they can make you sick. Germs. Germs can make you sick. Yes. Um, what's this one? Brand for but uh, 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 don't know. And this one is. Oh boy. <laughs> what is this? Regala. Maybe. Brand for a butterfly expert, perhaps. Butterfly expert. Ah, the butterfly, the dive. A speedo. The swimsuit for butter, for people that do diving. This is not Ken. This is something else. Nancy Drew's bow. What would his name be? Ned? <laughs> um... Ted, of course. And then this is Regatta, El de la City, El de la, de la Cité, Seat. I don't know how, I don't know how to say that. Uh, and then let's go up here, uh, Body. What is this? Body, Rid Ridley, Slink. Okay, I can't. I can't. It's it's too tough. <laughs> it was an easy puzzle right until the end. Something's off. Um, so, kind of a bummer. But let's, whoops, let's check it. Auto check. Oh my God! What a what a mess. It wasn't nut. The nub maybe. Oh. And then. Oh God, that's brutal. And then this is what? Ribble, ribbly? No, it's not that either. E, T. All right, let's reveal it. Sidle, ribald. I don't. I didn't know what that was. Body, ribald, ribald. Sidle, I've heard. Okay, sidle. I should have probably known. You sidle up to something, you kind of slink up to it. What's this? Ah, Regina, Saskatchewan. Il de la City. Il, I L S. Yeah, okay. And then Ned. Ah, rough. That was a rough one. That was a rough one. But that's how it goes. That was a fun puzzle, actually. Making guacamole was pretty much, that was pretty fun. Um, so that's it. And um, let's do another one tomorrow. OK, bye bye.